The house where four University of Idaho students were brutally stabbed to death last November will be demolished today. Some of the parents, though, of the victims are urging to stop the demo. But the university argues that the demo is necessary to help the community heal from those brutal murders. Our Brenda Rodriguez joins us live from Moscow right now with the latest. Brenda. Yeah, well, Justin, that's right. The demolition is starting here at 7 o'clock this morning, and we are actually just getting word right now to start clearing off the street. And we also saw a couple of trucks, dump trucks uh, to be exact, just pulling up here. Some other crew members and police have shown up here on scene to get that started. It's going to last about six to eight hours, depending on how far crews can get here, but um, in lasting the next couple of days and into the New Year's. Um, but right now, again, we're starting to clear off. We're seeing a little bit more activity. Activity. We're going to show you what the scene looked like yesterday here on your screen in just a second. Um, in a statement yesterday, uh, the Gonzalez family urged the prosecutor's office and university to stop the demolition and urge for a trial date to be set. And as we reported last week, the state of Idaho is requesting the trial of Brian Koberger be scheduled for next summer and last six weeks. But again, nothing is set. The house is uh, one of the victim's parents says is one of the most critical pieces of evidence in the case. They tear it down, and one jury member says, I wanted to see that place. I wanted to go inside there. I had questions that couldn't be answered. Then they'll be held accountable. When your child dies, they don't just die once. They, they die every time that you wake up. So, you know, it's terrible that you have to wait this long to have justice. And as a reminder, the house was given to the university by the previous owners. U of I's executive director of communications, Jody Walker, says that tearing down the house has always been the plan. Now more than ever, she says that students and community members have expressed their support. Walker says the university made the decision after receiving a response and waiting from the prosecutor saying that there was, quote, no further need for the house. And again, this was all in written form that they received that from. Both sides had the final access to the house earlier this month. And since it's winter break for the students, Walker says it's the best time to tear down the house while students are away. And again, Justin, demolition starts at seven o'clock, lasting six to eight hours. You're starting to see more police presence here. And um, uh, crews are starting to get to work here, but you know, the street is clearing off pretty quickly. Um, so we should expect that to see a little bit more activity uh, within the next couple of minutes, hours. And of course, we're going to be here covering that um, to keep you all updated. Back to you, Justin. Brenda, thank you. Thank you for being in the middle of all that and keeping us updated.